Yo, yo, yo. All right. This is our final Eagles podcast for the year. This is this is the exit, our exit interview for the Eagles who end up going a dreadful, what was it, four? It would even matter. Ten and, <laughs> and one. Or Eleven and one or something like something, that. Something, something and one. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it was the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, it was the perfect ending to a terrible year in general. Worldwide, 2020, the pandemic, the whole kit and caboodle. And I, honestly, I didn't see, I saw some of this coming, but I ain't see this coming to this event. I mean, we had a, a cataclysmic meltdown from, from Wentz, who fell off to the level that I didn't think nobody would. I mean, or not nobody would, but he would. Um, I saw some offensive struggles. I mean, if y'all heard our opening day show, whatever, we talked about what we thought was going to be good, what we thought was going to be bad. Some of the things came to fruition. Wide receivers came to, that was my biggest thing. I, I thought we was going to struggle because I thought exactly what happened. Our starters were old. They weren't going to play. That's what happened. We did have some bulls step up, blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, what y'all want to see different coming into 2021? I mean, you know, we know the story of 2020 and how it ended. Which well, what I want to see different ain't going to happen because we already know which is how he's, how he's going to be back. So, well, here's what I'm I'm happy about. I'm happy that Jim Schwartz is no longer going to be the defensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles. So that's I bet a good his nostrils thing. burning, ain't they? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> also, <that mess. laughs> I'm also glad that Marty Morningwig, any down, anytime he's with the Eagles as an offensive coordinator, anytime he's with us, we have a bad Never season. Good. I'm I'm more happy with Marty. Remember, Wiggins he was with the Jets honest. and he stunk it up with them. So I'm glad that he he was like that bad. Juju that we had on the team. So he's gone. So that's a good thing. Now, as far as veterans who I need to see gone is I love Alshon. I, I'm a missing, but he got to go. And, and he's probably, he's not coming back. So that's a good thing. You don't um, miss team. Why? Cause he, he, he balled in the super bowl. He did a lot of good things that 2007. Yeah. And since y'all want to live on that 2017 ago. season with Carson Wentz, I could live on that 2006 season with Alshon as well, but it's time for him to go. Um, I still think I want Deshaun back on a, on a different deal, on I'm a different deal, that. just like a, um, what to play two games a year. It don't matter. Yeah. He, exactly. the, the games that he do play is two a, games. Listen, two? Is, I'm not saying to bring him back at that nine million that we offer. I'm saying I don't care what you pay in him. I don't care what you pay. Games a year is what he plays now. Deshaun is so, so what, who do you, do you? I guess you're gonna find another veteran to replace him with because right yeah, now, or how about you draft the receiver? You could draft, draft you, are receiver. Gonna, you do need to draft the receiver. So you, you go, receiver. so you go hold up a roster spot for a boy to play two games. So I think Phil was on our roster for four years. Well, how many years? Huh? Was on a, he wasn't Phil? on the active route, he wasn't on the game day roster. I, still, I don't I, think that. I don't think that's I'm talking happen. about you need you listen, you need it, you don't need one, but most teams hold at least three quarterbacks. So, I mean, that's a position that just normally filled. But yeah, so so you're telling me, you tell me in, in harmony with what Ephraim saying, you telling me you're going to bring a receiver that's going to play a couple games a year. So the other games, you're going to have other receivers playing. And then when he show up, like you're going to do like how they did uh Bogum with Alshon. Okay, he back. You sit down. Yeah, we, as I said, you can't bring them all, but you would you rather have him or um, J.J. Arcega Whiteside? I, need, I don't want neither one of them. I, I, that's not the question. I Why asked. do I have to have either one? Because that's both of them is on the roster. Okay. And, and both of them can go. Hey, that's my, I know. I'm trying to figure so out why, why do I have to have like, either or with them? Why do you act like these are the only receivers left in the world? If you could get Deshaun for two, three million dollars, you no. say no. 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 I don't want Deshaun at all. I, I love I, I love Deshaun for what he did here. I I, I, I mean, he brought something he could do that nobody still can do. What? Yeah. And that's played two games a year and still get and still get nine million dollars. Yeah, he he worked. Ain't, ain't too many that. people that could do that. <laughs> yeah, ain't, ain't too many people, people that could do that. <laughs> so, so <laughs> listen. I tell you what I want to see. I tell you what I want to see addressed. I, I want to see the running back position addressed during the all season too. I agree. I want a big back like uh like the boy we had from we won the Super Bowl that year. Uh, Blunt. I want I want Blunt. a a back that could that could get it on a third and one, fourth and one, third and two, third and three. And run down your throat, or late in the game when we trying to just run some clock and just, just pound. Yeah. Was that Jahi or what was his name? No, it was Blunt and Jahi. Blunt. We had two of them that year. We had yeah, two Blunt. of them. Yeah, Blunt and Jahi. Yeah, Blunt. I forgot about Blunt. He just retired too, didn't he? I think so. Officially. Yeah. I, and we gotta. We really gotta see. I, I'm. I don't want to jump the gun and get rid of Wentz. 
because I, I didn't I wasn't sold on what I seen from Jalen Hurts. The last couple of games, he looked like he regressed. First game he came out, spark, we won. The last three games, I really didn't like what I see. I didn't see no, he, he his decision against, making wasn't great. No, and I true. didn't see that's not true. Arm, that's not I true. didn't see arm that's track. not true. He balled against um Carolina <laughs> um the Cardinals as well. We just lost that game, but he balled in that game. It was the last two games. We was like, mm, he could have done better. He didn't like, ball. The second, half he didn't every ball. Game, the second half of every game, he did not ball. Okay. I, I agree so with that. Based so on when that, the other team made adjustments to him, it and, wasn't, and after he finished running around and tiring himself out, and they made it adjustments. Wasn't, it wasn't even about him running around. It wasn't, Why wasn't it? it wasn't, he had a 25 that, that wasn't the quarterback rating. He wasn't running around like that. He was running around. He ran around. To be effective, he was running around. No, what the issue he was, he was running, and when they came up to stop him, the line kept breaking down. He was having the same issues that they had all year long. They kept replacing offensive linemen. And I'm telling you, Alshon playing kind of hurt him as well because it took away from the development of those other receivers. Like, so let me ask you, all right, let me ask you this you said he had the same issues Wentz had, right, with the offensive line, yeah. In the Dallas game, he had a 25 quarterback rating. I don't, so I don't get next that year, game. hold on, I count. I don't that game. So next year, if we fix some of the issues that Wentz had on the offensive line, who do you think would be the better quarterback? Hurts by far. Well, guess who the owner thinks will be the better quarterback, or and Howie, <laughs> because they went out and they told Zach Ertz to go holler at Carson and tell him to come back so we can mend this. Listen, yeah. I'm okay with that because we, I know we got a mental midget on the sideline and Carson wins, so he's gonna fall apart again, and it's gonna be the right, the same situation. It doesn't matter if Carson goes or stays. If he's here, he's not gonna play because he's gonna lose. He's gonna lose the battle. He's he don't got I, it up I don't, here. I, I don't he's see. A mental I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't see. Franchise quarterback in Jalen Hurts. I, I don't now see, what I, I don't would see do. Yeah. The only reason I would get rid of Carson Wentz is I'm hearing rumblings over there in Houston. Now if these rumblings get louder in Houston and Deshaun Watson wants out. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to pull that trigger. But other than that, be. so are y'all uh, from you feel the same way? You don't think he's a franchise quarterback? Yes or no? No. I don't think he had the arm strength. So all three of y'all say he's not a franchise quarterback. I just want to date this 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 podcast. First of all, I didn't even come I didn't back. Even, I didn't even I'm like that. these these three. I, so, did, I, did I even get my opinion? What did I say? You, I saw the hesitation in your in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I honestly think he can be better than Carson Wentz right now. I do. I I I I do think that. Um. I think with more, I, if I'll say this, if he had four years in the offense, like Carson Wentz had four years in the offense, I think he'd be better than Carson right exactly. now. I, I don't, I don't think he will fall off as bad as Carson did. I, yeah. I just don't. Um, I mean, I, Carson, my man, y'all know I was rooting for Carson a hundred grand. I still think Carson can be successful. I'm not even saying he trash to get, get rid of him, but long-term, I, I honestly, I'd rather have Jalen. But if you could get Deshaun Watson, you get Deshaun Watson, I'll take Deshaun Watson. And the reason why I'd rather take Jalen over Carson, because I think that's the way the league is going. I don't, I don't, <clears throat> if you not, and I said this a couple of times, and, and Reg, me and Reg had this conversation too, and I like the way he kind of put it. If you're not a surgeon in the pocket, you got to be able to move and have a very good amount of mobility. Carson Wentz mobility look like to me is, is not the same as it used to be. And he's not a surgeon in a pocket. So if you're not a, a surgeon in a pocket, you got to be able to get out of dodge. But there's a difference. You're saying the trend of the NFL. So I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about like the Deshaun Watson and and uh, the guy Lamar over there. Jackson. And, and Lamar and, Jackson, yeah. Russell Wilson, the, the, the difference Patrick between, Mahomes. And that's why I made the point that I made. I don't see their arm strength. All those guys have big arms. The guy in, in, in Arizona. Big arm. All those guys have big arms. I don't think Jalen Hurts has a big arm. That's true. That's one thing so, that might so hurt. When you talk about these guys with the big arms that can run, you running around, and then when they when they got to collapse, and that leaves that deep bomb bomb, and they can air that joint out. I don't think Jalen Hurts has that. So what was that yeah, pass? He, to Deshaun he Jackson. Do a duck. He what, 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 a duck. the one with Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson had to slow up and catch it? Dallas. What was the, what was that what was that pass to Deshaun? What Jackson? when Deshaun had to slow down and catch it, and then he just passed enough to outrun it. How did it end? Then what did it end? Then what? Guess what? Nick Foles do some bombs to Riley down. Cooper. It don't matter if a boy that wide open is a pitch and toss. I mean, if, if, I, if I remember correctly, I remember him saying early on 
in Wentz's career that his arm wasn't that strong. Like it was I don't never remember him saying that. I, I, for some reason, uh, I, I mean, I, I'm he a, never questioned his arm strength. I mean, that for some he reason, always had an NFL arm. Uh, for some reason, I remember him saying he it wasn't. He actually got his arm stronger. I remember watching videos of Wentz. That was his wind up. His I remember I, I remember watching videos of Wentz working out though to increase his arm strength, and it was his wind up too. I do remember it. I'm not discounting that, but I mean, I say that to say. You can't increase the power of your arm. You're a young boy. You you go to you do do workouts to increase the power of your arm strength. You Just don't like think he's been trying to work out can, and increase the power of his arm? Your bench. You can increase your your, your, your pull ups. You can increase your back, your legs. Why can't you increase your arm strength? I don't think that's nothing that he can't accomplish. But they increase your arm because it ain't just necessary about your arm strength. If you're talking about making yourself bigger and bulkier and stronger, then it still takes other things away. Then it takes away from look at McNabb. When McNabb bulked himself up and he ain't had the mobility no more. Nobody else, you gotta, I mean, I mean, to get stronger, you don't necessarily have to get huger. You could put on some weight without, you could put on 10 pounds and, and, and increase your bench 30, 40 pounds. But or I don't so. know if that necessarily goes to your arms, your bench strength and arms. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just talking about strength in general. I'm just saying you can increase your strength without getting big. So I'm saying you can increase, he can increase his arm strength without getting massive McNabb, like McNabb turning like a linebacker. I don't think that has to happen. There's certain techniques with your rotator cuff and certain, you know what I mean, you know, muscular exercise you could do to increase your arm strength. I, I just don't think it's out of the realm of possibility for him to be able to increase his arm strength by 10 yards. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we talking about now. Can you put enough zip and power in that ball to I, force I it downfield it when the weather get bad? Of course you let me ask you. Let me ask you this. We did the, the thing called the process here in Philadelphia with for the um, Sixers for like four or five years where we tank games. Now, the the Eagles blew, they threw the game on Saturday, on Sunday. And now they're trying to have congressional hearings as if Doug Peterson did the worst thing in the world. It was one game to get to move up three spots. That's worthless. Like you're never going to remember anything about Sunday's game next year or the year going, going forward. But I, the media overhyped this too much. That's because the Giants hyped it up because the Giants was butthurt. That's what it was. <laughs> that's, that's their exactly fault. No, that's not our fault. Uh, no, I agree. Exactly you shouldn't have been that trash that you got to rely on somebody else to win. But even the local media here, they, I mean, you hear Seth Jordan was like, never have I been more embarrassed. I mean, shut up. You know what's embarrassing? You being angry man every week on, on Twitter and on <laughs> <laughs> NBC Sports. <laughs> yeah, he is angry man all the time. But I mean, my thing is, I mean, wasn't some tanking involved? I guess when you pull, everybody's saying how he pulled Jalen. That's really how he kind of showed that he was trying to tank the game. Like, I don't think Jalen was trying to tank. I think Jalen was trying to win. And, yeah. and maybe maybe yeah, that is why, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Maybe that is why he pulled him because he was like, Yo, he's trying to win, and I ain't really trying to win, trying to win his draw. Yeah. But I mean, like you said, I mean, I, I could I could care less about it. the season was over. We ain't had no we we didn't have no re, no we had no reason to win that game. Exactly. He could have let, no let Jalen rocked out. We still would have lost. No, we wouldn't have. Uh, the defense, the, uh, if I recall his last series, the defense got him the ball deep in Dallas territory with a chance to take the lead. If we really and, wanted to win that game, womp, womp, womp. Remember it was four, so, um, on fourth Jaylen down. They, they Jaylen, went for it on fourth and down when they could have tied the ball game and they chose not. Why, to. why they got to go for it on fourth down if he would have got it? If he would have got it before that, it they, they, that play on fourth down, that play on fourth down was open too. That play on fourth down was open. So that should have been a touchdown. I mean. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying Jalen Trey. I like Jay. I I I do like I like his attitude. I like his demeanor. So why you I, hate I just so much? because I don't I don't want a weak arm quarterback. I, I don't mean to say weak arm like saying his hand arm is candy arm. Yeah, he ain't got, got no noodle arm. arm. But it was the same not, thing with Nick Foles. Like it, it's the same thing with Nick. His arm stronger than Nick Foles, I think though. But no, Nick actually could toss a deep ball too. But see, this is my thing. If a dude gotta sit there and like gotta do all this to get the <laughs> jaw deep, and then it go up and gotta. See, I want them to do like how Mike Vick, how Mike Vick, Donovan McNabb, and like and and, and like uh, Aaron Rodgers and dudes when they talk like they're doing like flick it and it, like Carson Wentz. I see him getting tackled, falling to the ground with no legs behind his pass and still got mad zip on. Yeah, Cannon Carson. That's I know, what I'm saying. I that's exactly what I, I want my quarterback with a cannon about. arm. I know exactly what you do. Like Vic could just flick his wrist and that, yeah, and that, that don't go like sixty going. yards off of yeah. off of yeah. this. Yeah, I, I mean I'm, Ryan Leaf had a strong arm. Yeah. <laughs> so it like the name all the bust like Jamarcus Russell who could throw 60 yards on his knees and all exactly. that kind of stuff like that. No, but this is what I'm saying. If you're talking about with other stuff, well, if I'm looking at Carson Wentz has shown that he can be a quarterback 
a star quarterback in this league and has the arm strength. I mean, I, I would prefer my quarterback to be like a, a like Jalen Hurts with a strong arm. <laughs> yeah, if he, I, hey, I take that all day. Right, we're in 2021, so you really want to gamble everything on based off a guy who clearly say, "I don't want to be in Philly no more. I'm too sensitive." Ooh, you benched me, and I mean, at this point, I, I have no I problem with how he felt about getting benched. I would have felt the same way. Yeah, but at this point, and I have no problem with them benching them because they had every right to do it. You don't want to come back. So I will see. Back. Earth's going, Earth's going to talk. So you know that means if Earth's getting to come back, you know that means Earth is back too. Right? Yeah, I don't want Earth's back. Well, but they might not. Yeah, but Earth, Earth did the crying going out. He might not be back. Earth, that might that might be Earth's way to get in the organization. You I mean, know what I'm saying? Fraud, On the back end saying. after the career. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I don't, I don't, I think Earth might be done. I don't think he. I think if they offer from something in the front office or something like that, or you know, what I mean, somewhere in the organization. No, he's I looking for a major it. contract. That's that's the. Oh problem. yeah, yeah. I think he, he wanted a place. There. He wanted it from the Eagles. I will I see. He gonna re- you think he might retire? You saying maybe? No, maybe not. No, no, he ain't retired. They, he trying to get that big payday. I think if he go, if he go, convince Carson to come back, I think they bringing him back. I, I don't think they just they use him not as a great. pawn to go get him and he'll come. Well, back. considering they ain't got no wide receivers, I take him and uh, Dallas Goddard as a tight end since we can't draft wide receivers. That, that's very true too. <laughs> I, I, what I'm, I'm actually more happy to see Morning Wood going than to see Swartz leave. Even though I'm not, I'm, I'm obviously not shedding no tears over Swartz. If I had to pick one, I'd rather see Morning Wig leave. I, I think Morning Wig is super duper trash. I, I remember Vic. Remember Vic never liked when Morning Wig was here. When Vic yeah. was here, Vic That's never liked how Morning Wig was back. called. Vic yeah, actually that, said, if I'm not mistaken, that he thought Morning Wig was calling plays to purposely get him hurt. Remember, was. y'all remember that, John? Morning Wig is trash. He is suspect. I don't know why they even brought him back. The NFL kills me. They always retread these dudes. Yes, he is trash. But Swartz, I mean, like I said, there was some things he did good. Probably more bad than good. But you know, I mean, you could find better. I do want to see the majority of our defenders come back, minus Gary. He super duper trash. I don't want to see him back. I want to see Singleton. I actually want to see even Tips and uh, Edwards. I think they played good. I like our corners, Slay and Maddox and all them. Um, I think we might need to go a little somewhere in a different direction, safety wise. I think we need to look for a safety, and I think we need to look for a pass rusher. Does Brandon Brook? Does Brooks come back? <clears throat> up top, you know what I'm saying. He was a Pro Bowl caliber offensive guard. Does he come back? You know what I'm saying with the same. That's true. That's true. I mean, we miss break. Brooks and Lane Johnson. What about so, Mark? What about the boy Goodwin? Marquise Diller, Goodwin is he coming back? Diller got to come back. I mean, he set out all year for the, from the Ronin. I know he mad. I know he mad at his kid. Like I can't believe I set out for you, and she probably all over his back. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, I mean, story. so what's he going to look like when he come back? That's another, you know. Yeah, the I, offensive I, I, line I, I, is a lot of yeah. question marks. Speech. Yeah. All right, so we're going. We pretty much going to close this out for this. The Eagles. Oh my fault. All right, so as y'all know, each week for the last six, 17 weeks, we've been doing a, our weekly podcast picks. <laughs> and <laughs> so going into week 17, Wayne had a slight lead over everybody at a two point. This lead. fraud ain't even got a chart for me. This is how I see this. Stuff. But last week he went four and one, and I went one and four. So he just blew me up. And I was already ahead. So, <laughs> so didn't I go four and one too? Don't no. matter. You was behind. So as a congratulations. Yeah, I went four and one. How the boys say on the Wizards of Oz? If I was <laughs> <laughs> So congratulations to Big Wayne on his win. Uh, are we going to do a playoff draw too? That we going to so he's a regular season champion, which is Down which is the regular season champion is okay. Are we going to do a playoff? Yeah, I mean, everybody make the playoffs. Playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I, y'all should have told me I knew no chart for it, but um, yeah, because you was hating, you should have had a chart already. So who y'all got? All right, we, you know, yeah, we should have did the draw. Let's let's pick some matches real quick. Put the matchups up. We picked them before we roll out. Eh, we ain't got time for Tim. Cut it off. Uh oh, <laughs> no, he tried. He, <laughs> he tried to go out on top. You know your playoff I'm knowledge. Is mode. I'm, I'm in basketball mode now. You All got right, it. so we will catch y'all. Don't forget to um catch us <laughs> next Saturday. Saturday. Who y'all got between the Colts and the Bills? Bills, yep. All right, what about Wayne? I actually might watch. I might actually might have to watch that game. That's two of my squads I was riding with all year. It's some good games. It's, be, it's some good playoff games coming on this yeah. weekend. What time when they play? They play uh, Saturday. What time? 
one o'clock. Dang. Oh, I could watch that. Then the, then the Sixers. All right. And they got after that. Then it's the Rams and the Seahawks. Another good game. What Four time they play? Four o'clock. Dang, it's a lot of stuff on at the same time. Then Sunday is going to be uh oh, it's three games on Saturday. Then you got Buccaneers in Washington. Maybe Man, I ain't worried about that game. It's going to be trash. Then Sunday you got three games. You got Ravens, Titans at one, Ooh. Bears, Saints at four, and Brown still is at eight. Some good games. I was still as then they must have their body was undefeated all that time. I know they, they were like 10 and 0 before they lost and then just yeah, fell they, apart. They played themselves. They all did. Right. Thank y'all <laughs> once again for joining the podcast. And we will catch y'all in our next video. We Thanks for coming out. God bless. Good night.